Hello, and welcome back to Baldur's Gate. No, I haven't found the way to progress the invasion, but I did find something and I didn't want to either walk away from it or, uh, you know, like leave it. I, I didn't want to leave it or like, I don't know. It just, it seemed wrong to just kind of, I need a shovel. God damn it. I don't have a shovel. I thought maybe this was leading to the uh, waterfall and you know, there's always something behind a waterfall. Uh, but in any case, this is still not um, the way down to the grove. I think what I should do, I found this like whole extra part to the grove that I, I hadn't previously explored. I think what I should do is I, I should um, go to that uh, hidden entrance to the uh, to the grove and uh, see if we can't you know talk to them that way i'll do a pause here because i don't i don't necessarily want you to to have to watch me wandering around and uh, you know it'd be it'd be good if i knew how what, what i was supposed to do here oh i see these are traps like you'd think that i would just have to go here and then that would be good enough Do you mind? Do I mind? Um, it looks like they won't let me in now. I'm a little bit confused. I I, I kind of wish this was a bit more straightforward, but anyway, we've got a a side door over here, which seems like you know if they found this, then you know the grove is kind of screwed. All right, I'll do a, a quick pause here. All right, I hadn't found it, but I did. Uh, this place is no longer being watched, so I'm going to have a quick look through it. Alchemist cabinet. There we go. Use cabinet key. I found that here. Drow poison. I mean, I, you know, this stuff uh, seems like it would be useful for combat, which, you know, we we are about to enter for the sake of the grove. So I, I'm, I'm going to be comfortable taking some of this stuff. There's a lot of boxes here, and it looks like a lot of them contain nothing. Shabby wardrobe, anything in there? Some rope. Uh, scruffy vagabond clothes, rags. Okay, well, very good stuff that we're keeping here. Okay, uh, and uh, you might have guessed, but um, I, the secret entrance quotation marks, like it really only leads us back into the grove i didn't actually realize that so i'm still lost and this is kind of becoming a problem <laughs> like i am not sure what i'm supposed to do so um i'll do another pause and we'll see what i can what i, what I can whip up for us i'm gonna i'm gonna blow the war horn oh is that what i'm doing that was what I was supposed to do, apparently. Jesus, that's a lot. There, there's our drow princess. She's not a princess, but you know. She's so prissy. This is it. Everything turns on this. I don't know if I was supposed to maybe set up a trap for them. They have some traps set up. I like I like the attempt. I know that you are all afraid. But I also know that you have been fighting your whole lives. We have never been handed the easy choices or the gentle paths. And this is no different. These creatures would take our lives, our children, our future, and we must resist. A splinter of ice works its way into your mind. A pretty speech. It almost brings a tear to my eye. Now slit his throat and open that gate. 
The Absolute wants all of them dead. Uh, Cleric of Shar, your god has no power here. Shar is the goddess of darkness, secrets, and loss. You cower behind a doomed god when the Absolute promised you such power? You will die here, and your god will die with you. Guess I should have killed her when I had the chance. I thought that maybe this was going to be a better opportunity to, to kill her. Oh my god. Yo, they're dead. Once they get a little bit closer, we can shoot those barrels down there. Um, we're 100% going to want to do something a bit more interesting with Asterion. If I wish I had uh, set up my positioning a little bit better, but I didn't know um, that the horn was actually what I needed to do. I, I swear to God, I didn't look it up. I, I just blew the horn for the sake of it because I hadn't done it. Makes sense in retrospect, but you know. So we're gonna come over here. Uh, we're gonna throw some grease down and I'm gonna do that a couple of times. So that the place is nice and greased up and will cause a nice big explosion. Oh, is she in the fight? Oh, nice. Soul branding. What is that? Um, creature's movement speed is increased by five feet and its next weapon attack deals an additional three to nine to fire damage. This condition ends upon landing a successful weapon attack. Okay. Um, Shadow Heart is going to come over here and... Uh, well, she doesn't have a lot of movement. Uh, let's do a dash. Where's dash? Dash. She really doesn't have a lot of movement speed. And she's going to do a shield of fate on herself. Oh, these guys have their own explosives. Did he try to sneak through the crack there? It seemed wrong. Um, Lazel is... A, it's a good thing that Lazel has things to fight here. I know. I'm tempted to try and do the mage hand again. Because I'd like to actually move this fire barrel away. Um, so let's... I, I guess we'll try and do that. I, I, I didn't... I really didn't like how the mage hand went last time. They have their own initiative. Um, it's not really much else we can do. This guy, is that an ogre? Ogre brute. Oh, wow. Wow, 20. Nice. Um, Tar or Tav? I keep thinking ta a Tar, but no, Tav. Um, Tav, we could do a bolt. I kind of want to... Well, well, look, we could do, like, Blade Ward on ourselves. We may as well, you know, go kind of hard on buffs. I have to assume this combat's going to go for a while. Is that actually... That's actually only a cantrip. Wow. That's going to... That's going to work well for us, actually. And we'll do... We could do Shield of Faith. For now. Nice. Immune to acid. Oh, there's goblin. This guy threw a barrel with a goblin in it. That's amazing. Oh my god. So Asterion's almost dead. I like how the spider absolutely walked outside the threat range of of the tiefling and, and just like didn't take an attack of opportunity i really don't have good luck with attack uh, attacks of opportunity you know um okay the mage hand um is going to throw so what i want to do is move this over here 
This is an oil barrel. Um, hide. Throw. Too heavy to throw. Yeah, I figured. So we're just gonna crack it open. And hopefully... I, I know these spiders can, can jump. So it's not super helpful. But, um... It might, it, you never know, it might, it might help. Armor to, of, uh, Agathis. Oh my god. Wow, that sucks. Okay, well, that shield of faith is, was not very helpful. Oh my god. <gasps> oh, dude. Okay, so Styrian's already dying. That really sucks. Asterion didn't even have a chance to hide. That all of this is pretty bad, honestly. Soul branding. Um, whose turn is it? Oh, I see. It's her turn. Yeah, we're losing people left, right, and center here. All I wanted to do, I mean... Okay, we have lightning charges, high defense. I was kind of hoping we could, uh, can we like light the ground here? I don't know if like lighting the spider would be as good as lighting the ground. Good. Seems Again. to me that that was guaranteed damage. I'm gonna do shield of faith on Tav. I'm a little bit worried for Asterion. I won't lie. Wow, that jump is like insane. 16 damage. So they succeeded their, their check. They're like almost on the door. Um, we really need to do something about those. Does, Tav is going to get a turn. Um, he needs to, like, hit those guys. I don't know with what yet. Maybe a guiding bolt. Underdog's bravery. Can we do, like, a lacerate? Yeah. Can we actually... Diluted oil of sharpness. Coat your oil, weapon and oil. It gains plus one bonus to damage. And overcomes resistance to non-magical. Um, or basic poison... Targets must succeed at constitution saving throw become poisoned. Let's do that. And then we'll do a lacerate. Excellent. Immune to acid, but they uh, shouldn't be immune to, to poison. Listen, spiders are venomous. They're not poisonous. They, they are not immune to poison. <laughs> I'm going to use my action surge now. And we're going to do... Um, like another attack here. Keep going. Yes, they're poisoned. We, uh, I guess they can't do a pommel. That's fine. Yeah, those, those barrels have goblins in them. That's incredible. Okay, guiding bolt on. Why do we have disadvantage? Okay, we're gonna move over here. We're gonna take an attack of opportunity. That's fine. We have shield of faith on us, so that should be okay. 70%. Okay. Um, I'm hoping that this does some area of effect damage if we can actually... I guess they only have 18 health, but I'm not sure if maybe this uh, will explode the barrel. It didn't seem to. Um, do we have an, any items we could use? I'm I'm really worried that this whole thing is bungled. That was kind of our last chance to try and you know do something to these these explosive barrels. Oh, there's three of them? God damn. 
Is Tav, or sorry, is a uh, Assyrian succeeding his death throws? Oh, well, that guy's dead. Okay, thank goodness. That's that's good. Really can't afford. Wow, that was good. I really think I should have killed uh, this character when I had the chance. Where's this bugbear? Oh god, we have bugbears? This is a lot. Um, We have mirror image and pass without trace. Those are for stuff. Oh, we have spiritual weapon. Could we can't reach destination? I was one, I'm wondering. Oh, we can pick our weapon. Oh, that's fun. Great axe, trident, spear, maul. I'm not sure what the difference would be. Let's do a great axe. Throw it down like right there. Ouch. Why did why did we move? I guess I guess we had to move. Okay, well we're out of threat range now. Oh my god. Um that counts as a bonus action. Let's move uh I guess the spirit weapon has its own initiative. We're gonna do a guiding bolt on that explosive barrel. We have to. Yes. Um, that blew them up, but, and it did some damage to all of them, but not not as much as you'd you'd like. We don't have any bonus actions, so we can't even heal. Misty step, huh? I don't know who they just cast. Oh, Zevlor. <laughs> Well, Lazel's dying. This seems like a really hard combat. I'm not sure if I was even remotely prepared. I guess blowing up that barrel also blew up the door, so that's not good. Yeah, th everything is actually literally gone wrong in this combat. I, I think pretty much exactly everything that could have possibly gone wrong did go did go badly. Starting with uh, Asterion dying on the first turn. <laughs> um can't reach destination is this oh is this okay we can't right maiming strike let's do a piercing shot that's with a crossbow let's just do a basic attack um do we not have a bonus action we do. Let's uh, do a healing word on uh, Lazel. And now the problem with that is that she's back in the combat. Yo, when does the when does her spirit weapon get to go exactly? Is that was that not the the turn? I don't understand. Well, uh, the spirit weapon is now dead. So that's not good either. I never actually got to attack with it. Shadowheart is dead? Or dying? That spider has like one tick of health left. Asterion has rolled um, badly twice on their death throw oh cool the, the freaking bad guy can heal um that's that's really bad well that's bad too 
Yeah, this whole thing sucks. All of this is bad. Yeah, I really should have uh, I killed that drow when I had the chance. Like, 100%. I'm not sure why the game even presented me with logic of, uh, yeah, it would be, it would be good to, like, fight her when you're garrisoned. Like, no, you ha she was right in front of you, just kill her there. Um, so Shadowheart is dying, Lazil can heal herself for a moment. It's not nearly enough, but it'll do. She doesn't have an action because she had to get up. So I'm just going to run her down here and see if I can't help down here somewhat. Tav could do a group heal. Um, I don't know if that actually hit him. Okay, Tav. Can we get... Channel Divinity, preserve life, please. And thank you. Um, and then can we please shove this goblin away? Thank you. Light on my feet. Um, all right. Fortunately, the uh, AI on those oil barrel goblins are not good right now. Is about to damage Tav. How to react? Missile snaring. Reduce damage from ranged weapons by 1d10 plus your dick. Okay, yeah. Perfect. God damn it. I I don't know if Hysterion is dead yet. If Hysterion dies, by the way, I, I load and we redo, redo this combat. Okay. Well, that's Zevlor almost dead. That's Zevlor dead. Something that does uh, is some frustrating about pretty much all D&D based games is how they seem to allow enemies to um, attack someone who's on the ground. I know it's a small thing, but it's like kind of matters. Let me see here. Um, we're going to do a cleave. That won't work. We did we critically miss? someone we'll do a pommel on the bugbear that was good now what would be good is if you slipped on your ass right here nope um yeah tav Tav is really not okay right now. Up to three creatures receive 1d4 penalty to attack rolls. Let's uh, let's do that. So we're gonna do this one, this one, and this one. So I thought it said up to three. Uh, okay, please do it. Oh, okay, there. Finish selection. So the spider saved against the bane. That sucks. Can we push this goblin off the edge? Nope. Oh, this is a nightmare. 
Lazelle is kind of uh, taking on an entire army herself. Tav is 100% just... See, like, that, that shouldn't be something that the enemy can do. I really don't approve of that as something the AI is smart enough to do. Like the, the the freaking dude is making saves against death. Don't don't allow the AI to attack them. That that just seems rude. Okay. Um. I'm not sure what's going on with these barrel dudes over here. I need to hold on. What is what is happening? My time. Tav is almost dead. Lazel is almost dead. Um, we can't cleave. That's a short rest thing. I really thought she could cleave multiple times, so that's a problem. Can we jump like all the way up here? In my best interest. Um. Apparently we can't do that, even though it's sort of allowing me. Okay, I don't know. I don't know. Ranged attack. If I could hit that, like one of those goblins in the back there, that'd be kind of dope. Disadvantage. Path is interrupted. Do we have any movement left? We actually do. Let's see if we can't hit that goblin in the back there okay we're not at disadvantage this could actually be amazing what do you mean path is interrupted i mean i i understand there's like 50 things in the way here but i'm trying my best not enough movement Uh, okay. Yeah, I mean it makes sense. She shouldn't be able to hit him Well, we killed someone no we didn't kill someone I thought he died for some reason All right, I, I'm gonna load um, We did a save pretty much before that whole combat began I'm gonna try again um, I didn't understand that the horn was going to start that whole combat. So we're going to have, uh, Asterion actually hide before the combat begins because otherwise he's just going to die like instantly. He's probably going to die instantly anyway. Let's be honest. There's so much stuff going on here that it, it seems just like a done deal. I do regret not killing the drow, uh, when I had the chance right away. Um, but that's fine. We're, we're stuck with this and I'm going to commit with, commit to this. I do wish that the AI was, um, not quite so rude about attacking, uh, your characters mind my step. when they are dying, but, um, we're stuck with that as well. So I'm going to do a pause because it's going to take me a second to get back up there. Yet. All right. I have... I've uh, tried my best to uh, arrange people. Uh, unfortunately, you can't sneak around too well. Ugh, God. Okay, well, they're not going to let me sneak with Asterion. I did, however, get Asterion to do his grease before. Um, I know that you are I'm, I'm just going to skip along here. Now slit his throat and open that gate. No, the I'll show the absolute the power of a true god. You, you will... Um, I did do, uh, Asterion's Grease beforehand, so at least we don't have to waste turns on that. <laughs> and that person didn't die instantly, which is quite nice. I'm gonna move here. And I'm gonna hide. Let's find some prey. Really? Like, come on. 
come on. We can't hide because my ally saw me. So you can't do any sneak attacks, basically. And I also just wasted my turn trying to do something like really simple. All right, you know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna blink like over here. We're gonna go over here, and I'm, if if I can't hide over here, then then all hope is lost for Styrian, and he's just a dead weight in this combat. Zevlor, if you could, yeah, I mean, if you could not miss shooting like one of the most important targets, that would be just great. Um. Lazel, I was hoping that the spider would make their way up there, up here already. It seems to me that they're being less aggressive this time. Disadvantage. We have a 100% chance of hitting that. Can we dip our weapon? Let's dip our short bow, I guess. Bonfire or I don't know. I don't know what I'm trying to do. How long does this last? Single use. Hold on. Item will be destroyed upon use. Yeah, but how long does it last? This is fine. Um... Did I seriously dip the short bow in that? Yes, I did. Okay. This game is, is really, is really got it out for me today, you know? Um, hamstring shot. Disadvantage, disadvantage. We have the best chance of hamstring shotting the, um, the ogre. So let's do that. Target outside of normal range. Yeah, that's why. That miss. Won't work. Okay, so we took 12 damage from. Uh... Oh no, I don't think we took any damage from the the barrel, but the, we have goblins up there that we need to deal with. So they have three more barrels that they're gonna throw. I'm trying my best to work with uh, a lot of this, but um, there's certain things that are just like not working for me. Okay, Shadow Heart. Um, where's my grease? Did they seriously like remove my grease when the combat started? I'm trying so hard. Like, what is it? What is it with D and D games lately that I'm like trying to actually prepare it properly and like play it properly? And it's like everything that can go wrong is going wrong. Okay, the smoke powder inside explodes when ignited, damaging everything in the vicinity. So we're gonna do this. Is this a bonus action? No, that's a normal action. Is. So that's a normal action as well. Well, I'm going to throw this. And unfortunately, I can't light it yet. Um, unless I have another item I can use. Nope. We do. We can throw our spiritual weapon, though. Can't reach destination. Can reach destination. Now, let me... I'm going to try this again. I am going to try this again at least it's another another body on the floor you know so it's on the same initiative as tab i got i think i have to remember that myself they're not gonna do it for me oh there we go i can attack now um so we can fly there's this smoke powder satchel i'm just gonna attack this sapper i don't think i can do enough damage just yet so it's just gonna prime them and then hopefully enough Another things group fight. around him let's go that uh you know we can actually do some damage um let's do a guiding bolt on that sword spider 55 percent chance again we missed good very good 
Very, very good. Um, all right, we'll do... Wait, what, uh, what else we have? I guess we should have done, like, our blade ward, but it's fine. I'm going to do shield on ourselves. We should check to see if that's actually doing anything. Receives plus two bonus armor class. Yeah, I think it does actually help us. Right now, Tav has a AC of 18. I mean, that's pretty good. Armor of Agathis. They have been hexed of their strength. Why did they attack? I, I swear to God. I swear to God. Why did they take zero attack of opportunity there? They were literally surrounded by every single person up there. Like, there's two people there. Lazel, Ashrak, Shadowheart, no attacks of opportunity? What? Like, what the heck? Please, someone, someone needs to explain to me. Okay, our spirit weapon is taking some damage. That's fine. Okay, that's what we want to see. Oh my god, that couldn't be more, that couldn't be better, honestly. If the spirit weapon dies, that's honestly totally fine. It didn't die, that's even better. Shadowheart is almost dead. Oh no, she didn't. I thought she took damage there, but she didn't. Okay, Assyrian um, actually does have something to attack here. So let's go ahead and hide. So as far as I can tell here, Zevlor is creating a threat range here that I can, that is, is going to like ruin my, my sneak attack. I'm going to try and move outside their range and we're, we're just going to do a sneak attack ranged. Okay, I really don't understand. Did I do a normal hide instead of a cunning action hide? Okay, I mean, that's on me, but honestly, I'm, I'm starting to get a little pissed off. <laughs> I'm starting to get kind of pissed off with this game. Like, I'm, I'm trying really hard. It's like it's like a combination of 5e rules and and interface things always seem to just get the better end of me. Um, okay, so we have Lazel here. Uh, Lazel, I'm going to try and actually shove this guy. We're in Greece. There's a chance. Can we do like a jump? This, this counts as a, a bonus action. We don't want to use our bonus action. I would like to, I would prefer to um, try and shove this guy as a bonus action. The alternative, I don't have enough movement to get to that spider. So this is something we can do. We did manage to save. We're going to do a shove. Apparently this is not going to work. Didn't work. Okay. So we'll just do a normal attack against them. Should kill them. Good. Didn't kill Again. them. That's fine. So we couldn't actually have a better setup here if we tried. Uh, why'd they walk away? Oh, did they throw another barrel? Okay, that's good. It'd be really helpful if they also shot the exploding barrels. Bite on Zevlor. Zevlor is dying. Sorry, dead. Eldritch Blast missed? I thought Eldritch Blast was like a guaranteed hit. Um, I wonder if the spirit weapon... Okay, actually, the spirit weapon can move that satchel. That's kind of perfect. Perfect. That doesn't make any sense, but I'm 100% going to take it. Um, we're going to do a lacerate on the bugbear. I wish I could do it on the exploding barrels, but I can't reach them. We missed on a 60%. 
That's fine. Um, does Tav have Firebolt? I don't think he does. I think he must be like the only spellcaster that doesn't have Firebolt, including Asterion. Can we do Guiding Bolt on... Okay, let's do Guiding Bolt on the Sapper Moak. 70%, that's a good chance of hitting. We should be able to do this. There we go again. Perfect. Penta Crush. I think we just killed five, five enemies at once. I, it, it actually freaking worked. Thank God. Um, none of my characters are dying right now. We could try and shove the spider. No. Now that did blow a hole in the gate, but that's fine. I really wish the camera... I don't know what it is with, with the camera work in these games. Okay, Asterion. Um, can you make a sneak attack? Yes, you can. Can you do a firebolt on that oil barrel? Yes, you can. Should actually help. Is this a... That's an action. All right, uh, we're going to do it. Excellent. I think I just knocked one of my friends off. The, I just knocked Tav off and he's dying now. And then someone said, excellent. Amazing. Um, they're no longer hidden, so we're going to hide. We're going to hide after blowing Tav off the wall. If he dies, it's actually not the end of the world because we can bring him back. Um, scroll, scroll of Revivify. Can we revive too far? Okay, we can't do it. Drink this to triple your jump distance. So the only one here is a uh, sword spider. So let's, let's, you know, take them out. Oh, right. There's still grease here. I'm going to use our last raid on them. Keep going. Pommel. Nice. That is the spider dealt with. I'm going to try and get out of this grease while I still have movement. Oh, there's still a goblin here. I didn't know. Um, yeah, I'm not going to use my action surge for a goblin. Shadow heart is held. I don't know if that means that she can't do anything. I think it just means she can't move. But I might be wrong about that. Ogre is still throwing goblins into this mess. She about ready to actually jump in, yeah. She's got about five buffs on her. I'm glad these guys are still in the fight. Because they actually are helpful. Um, okay, so Shadow Heart. Can what can we do? What can what can you do? I mean, can you bring back our lad Tav? Doubled movement cost, difficult terrain, can't reach destination. Oh, right. That's a, um, can't do a, a cure wounds because that's a touch spell. But can you do this? Yes, you can. And then he gets to, there's one thing that gets to turn after, um, Shadow Heart, but this is, this should still help. Are there any other hidden barrels? Not really seeing any. Um, this spell casting, yeah, Goblin Warlock needs to go. We missed. Else. Yeah, I mean, I'll try missing on a 60%, okay? How about that? 
Athletics failed. How did they manage to walk through that grease so elegantly? Um, let's look at our items. We're going to take a health potion. Just wondering if I have anything else, anything better. He got up, so he doesn't get a turn right now. Um, the spirit weapon is gone. We have six goblins now after this. He's probably going to die again. I don't know if I can do anything about that. Missile snaring, yeah. Still critically hit him, huh? Well, he's dying again. He got about three goblins in before uh, death set in, you know? Okay, uh, let's do a cunning action dash. I'm wondering... Wondering what we can do here. I wonder if, um... If Asterion could get close enough, he might be able to revive... Huh? Oh, okay. He might be able to revive Tav, and actually, the Revivify a scroll lets you teleport them anywhere. So we could bring him back up on the wall. Yeah. Okay, uh, he only has one health left, but that's okay. Uh, are we still hidden? We have momentum. I don't think that we granted eight temporary hit points. We're, things are not going too badly right now. Not nearly as badly as they were. Asteria oh. not being hidden is a problem. Shadow heart. Um, oh no, this is Lazel or Lazel. Lazel, um, you're going to dash and you're going to run over to this ladder. Was there still grease over there? Great. I didn't realize there was another goblin over here. I would have probably tried to kill that. Throw. Okay, so there's another goblin up there. I, I hope they're running out of those soon. Luckily, Ogre Dude and the Big Bad is standing right on our last exploding barrel. So potentially Asterion can blow that up because he... Oh, shoot, she moved out of the way. Shadowheart could actually do it. 100% with disadvantage. Nice. That actually did some nice damage to the big bad. Thank God. Can we please shove this guy off? We have a... This goblin warlock is still alive. Okay. Let's shove this guy off. Nope. Athletic successful. He did not get shoved off. Uh, he gets to jump out of uh, our range. So that does not provoke any attack of opportunity. He almost killed our freaking cleric. Claire, uh, Tav is actually going to do... He's close enough to everyone that he could potentially heal uh, need to find a way forward. all of our allies. Nope, that's an action, and he doesn't get that right now. So he's just going to take another potion of healing, and we are going to hope for the best. They're all pushing into the gate. I think we still have... Um, we, we still have uh, some uh, uh, exploding barrels on the other side there. Yeah, we have one. We might have more. Yeah, we do. We, we can potentially do some fun stuff there. Do we... This, the big bad is still there. I'm wondering if we could have Hysterion hide using the cunning action now.
and then do a sneak attack ranged okay someone told me that um on twitter actually yeah we're, we're calling it twitter still that you can hold shift to see the threat range if a steering could get over here he'd be more able to do something but i don't think he can so instead i think i'd rather use my turn to uh help tav but i think if i click on this it's just gonna use it friends uh cantrips mage hand oh firebolt let's uh let's kill this goblin warlock how about that that did some damage to our friends as well but it also kind of cleared the field i gotta stop doing that in fact Asterion has to stop doing that um and he's gonna dash actually yeah yeah he's gonna dash and he's he's we're gonna hide over here tav on his turn is gonna do a um oh he just climbed the ladder i was really hoping they wouldn't be smart enough to do that Okay, first, second wind. Nice. Secondly, um, that goblin warrior is still kind of a problem. Are they, they're not close enough to that exploding barrel to make a difference. Can we do, oh, I guess we already used our bonus action. Um, I was hoping we could like try and shove this bugbear off. Would be kind of nice. This does what? Oh, that's a normal action. Astral knowledge, gain proficiency in all skills of a chosen ability. So, like, athletics, for instance? Let's do that. Charisma, wisdom. Oh, wow, it's actually ability, right? Um, let's do strength. And we're gonna move over here. We don't have enough action points to do anything, but it might mean we get a advantage to athletics check. Okay, Shadowheart just ate a critical from a goblin. You guys better not climb that ladder. Oh my god. Asterion, without really knowing it, unwillingly walked into like absolute an absolute nightmare over here they tried to shove him off the ladder what a what absolute jerks please let Assyrian have his turn like please please don't do this uh, she just like totally healed herself okay thank god he gets his turn preserve life um he's not close enough to everyone and if i step uh even a little bit away i'm pretty sure it will not be able to reach shadow heart uh Asterian can hold out for a little bit longer this is more important um we're gonna take another bonus action to do a potion of healing and that's not a bad turn we just like healed the whole group shadow heart can we please can we like move over here and shove this guy off yay wow. that didn't kill him <laughs> that did not kill him incredible Okay. All right. All right. Good. Okay. Thank God. That guy took some damage. That's fine. Asterion, um, what's your odds of shoving the bugbear off? Too he heavy to shove. Warrior John, however, isn't bad. Can we move over here? We can. 
could we so we're gonna do a disengage that that much is absolutely true and unfortunately unfortunately we are actually like close enough to everybody that it counts for everybody that disengage actually counts for everybody so we're gonna back away slowly are we close enough to this barrel to move it we are but Assyrian is really not you know he, he doesn't have the the chops to move it that well so instead we're gonna do like either a firebolt or something bone chill bone chill on um hmm prevent the target from healing until your next turn oh it's really not as good as i thought it was Can we do a sneak attack We could do a sneak attack on Rozak. We actually pulled it off. Bugbear gets to do some stuff. Oh, they missed with their javelin. Lazelle is taking some damage. We could do a cleave. It's not a bad cleave. Does that count? What does that count as? An action. I'm wondering if we could like shove this guy. We can actually shove Razak like off the ledge here at a 70% chance. So let's go ahead and do that. Nice. They take five damage for doing that for, for that. Um, we're going to attack with advantage against this bugbear. Can we do something better? No, we can't. We've used up our lacerate. lacerate. Still, that's pretty good. I actually think an action surge isn't a bad idea right now. We'll just do a normal attack. 84% chance. Advantage we still miss. My luck sometimes is just god awful. I mean, I, I've, I've had pretty good luck during this combat, so I shouldn't say that necessarily, but certain things have definitely not been great. Um, okay. Okay, so that's one of our freebie uh, allies uh, damage we still uh, like the big bad is basically they are at full health actually I was really hoping that ogre would stand on the oil barrel that would have been amazing she's gonna run in she might actually get kind of close to that oil barrel she gets to heal people huh Uh, four to seven or four to ten. We're gonna take a bonus action to do a potion of healing on ourselves. And, um, I'm gonna try and do 45 or 35. Let's, uh, let's move out of this, like, everything. Have to keep going. We took a bit of acid damage. We're doing 45 and 35 still. So let's try and hit this bugbear. We actually did hit them. Nice. Still breathing, Tav. Despite everything. Yeah, no kidding. It's been a nightmare, hasn't it? We're going to do Weavern Toxin. Coat your active weapon with toxin that deals an additional. Yeah, we're going to make sure we're using our melee weapon set. Um... Receives a negative one penalty to damage, but targets failing a constitution save suffer disadvantage on strength checks. Now we're going to do Weaver and Toxin. We only have a 50% chance of hitting this. Oh, we have Alchemist Fire as well. All right, well, well, we'll try it. We missed. Okay, we're no longer in acid. That's the important thing. And we're not close enough to the edge that they can try and shove us off. Oh, God. Like, another good explosion over here would be just ideal. I have to assume um, the big bad is running out of spells somewhat. Now, Asterion is apparently... Like, there's just... Everyone is... You know, like, there's just bullshit everywhere for Asterion, unfortunately. Um, 
except ironically back where he was so i'm wondering um we can get just close enough that we could actually like do some damage against some of these guys so let's actually do that and i'm, I'm gonna be smart about this I'm gonna try I always say that or think that at least and then it end up not being smart But we're gonna do our hide action now Okay, someone needs to explain to me. Well, well, like I thought this was fine. I guess this goblin can see me here Okay, so I blew it. Yeah, see like it's amazing every time Um, can we can we just kill this goblin here? He's got some arrow acid can we we can actually hit that ogre brute pretty easily how about we you know let's pivot and do a sneak attack must have advantage i thought i did have advantage we have high ground items arrow of acid um Oh, this arrow of arcane interference would be perfect. Uh, I guess not. Okay, um, let's do an arrow of lightning. On that ogre brute. Break them. Nice. They saved against it. Uh, I'm just like so done <laughs> um all right what kind of items does lazel have elixir of fire resistance elixir of the colossus you'll an additional 1d4 you gain advantage on strength checks and saves that seems really good right now so we're gonna do that and then we're gonna do a cleave I think I messed that up slightly. I think it was a cone and not a, just around her. Still, we killed a, a bugbear. I'll take it. I think we are going to get through this. It's just, it's just a lot, you know? It's a lot. <laughs> God, we still have a freaking spellcaster over here. Okay, miss. Good. I'm a little bit worried about this ogre. They are slowly making their way up here. However, they might land close to that barrel. No, never mind. And we still have to deal with the big bad. Like, the big bad isn't even grazed. The one nice thing, though, is that they have used a lot of their spells. So that's the one nice thing. They are making their way up here now. Um, it seems to me that Bo ability checks. It seems to me that uh, Shadowheart is just always in need of of using um, a healing thing. Let me see here. What could what could we use? Inflict wounds would just be really nice. Um, not enough movement. She needs. To, that's a touch spell. So we can't do that. Um, create three illusionary duplicates of yourself that distract attacker attackers. Each duplicate increases your armor class. Or pass without trace. Or spiritual weapon. You gain advantage on charisma checks and dialogue. Enemies? No, that's not really helpful. I'm wondering if Lazel could... I mean, Lazel definitely needs something. Maul, spear. The spirit weapon is really nice because it's a, it's not just extra damage, it's also um, an extra body on the field. I'm just going to try my best to remove someone off the field here. I, can, I only have... Have I, I haven't used my action yet, so let's do a Guiding Bolt on the big bad. It's only a 50% chance, unfortunately, but we'll have to take it. It missed. 
I, I just lose coin flips. That's my my special power. Um, okay, we don't really have any scrolls that can help. We do have alchemist fire. That could potentially help. I can just barely um, get them all. Double movement cost, difficult terrain. What does this do? Liquid fire that explodes on impact. Huh, throw this alien bulb at a target and possibly pull in nearby targets and creatures is kind of interesting. Okay, um, I, right there seems perfect. Didn't, didn't hit them all. I thought it was going to, didn't. Um, coated in weaver and toxin. Let's, uh, let's just kind of get in there. Oh, we have to kill someone first. Was that our action? Shoot. All right. Yeah, um, I guess I should have attacked. I'm going to jump over here. I thought I could jump without inciting an attack of opportunity, but I guess that's something the enemy gets to do and I don't. Seems odd. I guess I didn't have to do that since I already took the... I'm just like messing every single possible thing up that I could right now. And it's, if it's frustrating you, believe me, it's really frustrating me. Like I'm probably going to have to do this combat again. Um, okay. This is a Styrian. Asterion is technically hidden right now. Drow poison. Coat your active weapon with poison targets. Must exceed a constitution saving throw or become poisoned. And fall asleep. That could be really nice. Use ranged weapon. I want to make sure I'm doing this to um, our like short bow. Of course, this is a bonus action, right? And I need to use my bonus action to hide. I'm gonna move slightly out of the way just to make sure we're not in threat. Hide. Okay. Arrow of arcane interference. Is there, I mean, we could do arrow of acid. This is, um, let me just see here. This is 1d6 plus 3 plus 2d4. Acid is quite good. Versus 1d6 plus 3 plus 2d6. I think the sneak attack is still better. The benefit of the acid um, is it does uh, area of effect, but that would also potentially hurt Lazel, and she really can't afford to be taking extra damage. So I'm going to try my best to just hit the big bad with a sneak attack. I really feel like picking off some of the other people would be better, but here we are. Path is interrupted. God, I really can't catch a break right now. I guess path is interrupted by this goblin here. So, um, why don't we do an arrow of acid on that goblin there? I'm just going to go for it. Excuse me for a second. All right. Um, so Lazel has one health left. Fortunately, she's next in the, in the turn order. She's going to use a potion of greater healing. Seems like a good use. Um, yeah. She's going to attack the big bad. She has advantage. She doesn't have anything special she can do here. I'll put some poison on her weapon in the next few turns. Wow, she saved her concentration check, huh? Nice. 
Um, yeah, I mean, that kind of sucks. There's just like acid everywhere. Oh, this ogre. I mean, I, I suspect I'll be able to take care of them pretty easily, but it's still a concern. Uh, spirit weapon can do some interesting stuff. Just wondering if maybe they could head over. But I don't think so. We're just gonna, we're just gonna take a 50% chance. Oh, we actually did hit it. Wow, she just like gets to sa save. Make all of her saves, huh? Okay. She also has three attacks. Okay. Um, this ogre is almost here. <laughs> Invoke duplicity, turn undead. Guidance. She doesn't have. I mean, she could do a healing word on Lazel. So I'll definitely have to do that. That is unfortunately, I believe, our bonus action. action so now we can't. Well, we can heal ourselves with the cure wounds. I, I, I just have to try and keep people in the fight, even if it means costing my whole turn. Um. We have a pretty, we have some pretty good stuff on our weapon right now. So I feel like I should, you know, use it. Do we have anything else? What is our bonus action right now? Um, healing word. Yeah. Let's do a healing word on Lazel. And um, then we're going to do a lacerate on the big bed. Nice. They did save against the concentration. But still, we're, we're kind of chipping away at her. The uh, freaking army of goblins has just, you know, made their way up here. So that's a problem. Uh, and actually the biggest problem with that is now, um, Asterion cannot hide. Like he is, he is permanently unable to hide. There's no way. Hey, that's nice. That's a, that's a win. We take those. Um, arrow of acid. Just wondering if I did like one against, uh, the, they're just barely not close enough to the big bad to hurt them. Scroll of Blur. Attackers have a disadvantage on attack rolls against you. Uh, well, that's not it. We could take some uh, a bark skin. This is a bonus action. I think that's a good idea. And then... I'm still looking at items. Increase rows. Okay, that actually is better to look at. Scroll of Scorching Ray. You know what? Oh, it's only a 40% chance. Sixty percent chance on the ogre though. Wait a minute, what? It can hurl three rays of fire each deal two to twelve fire damage. Can we put them all on the same target? Yes. Nope. Only one hit. But I guess we'll take that. Okay. Um, again, potion of healing. You know what would be really good is if we could slightly move. Can, can we, we can't. Oh, we don't have a bonus action. We just used it. Okay. 10 damage from a goblin. God damn it. Hey, we get an attack of opportunity. I remember when that was a thing. Okay, this could be really bad. It was really bad. It was really bad.
The fact that she can heal is just like a nightmare. Cure a creature from disease, aid. Heal your allies, increase their hit points by maximum. Uh, just barely not in range of um, Shadow Heart. I, I, I feel like I'm going to have to take a risk here to try and heal Shadow Heart. Six damage. She gets to attack twice on attack of opportunity. Fast. I must heal. Jesus Christ. Still not within range. We <laughs> took another attack of opportunity. Aid. Thank you. Um. We have a bonus action. We are out of level one spells. Our nightmare is finally realized. Um, just wondering if there's anything I can do here. Like shove, shove this guy over there. I don't know. We, we failed our check, so at least shadow heart gets a turn. I'm, I'm, I'm pleased about that. Uh, we only get a bonus action. Kind of feel like I should just run away. We don't get a dash. That's an action. I'm going to, I'm going to sprint this way. Got to press on. And kind of hope that the ogre follows, and then maybe the shadow heart can do something meaningful. Okay, that's that's all good. That's all good. Asterion. Um, arrow of interference. I feel like I should have done this a long time ago. We only have a fifty percent chance of hitting her, though. We missed. We have a 40% chance of pushing this guy not off the ledge, just, just away. So I'm going to disengage. Um, I guess I could have bit him. And I'm going to run. Fury, I am death. I'm just wondering, uh, we could take an attack of opportunity. I'm wondering if we could push her off the ledge. That's got, that's bound to be some good, decent damage. I can't heal before I do this, so I'm going to have to take an attack of opportunity. Nice. We missed it. And we're going to try and shove her. Target can't be restrained. Okay. I just, uh, I cannot win right now. What is this? Animal friendship. That's not helpful. So we're gonna... Um... We're just gonna grab a health potion and keep on fighting. Oh, we got a crit. She's almost dead. And her concentration is finally broken. We have done it. We've done the impossible. Some of these uh, goblins are, are eating a lot of damage from fire, which is quite nice. Ogre did an unexpected thing and went towards Asterion, which is kind of nice. Um, what, what do we have? Blessing of the Trickster. Scroll of Sleet Storm. That doesn't seem helpful. She's got high defense. Uh, 
Um, we could put resistance on... Oh, this is melee. Never mind. We can't do that. I wonder if Sacred Fire has a better chance. 35% chance versus 35% chance. Nope. There's still this jerk here. I'm wondering if I could finally push him off. On I go. I am I am just so fed up with failing on a 60% chance. We have disadvantage now. I'm not sure. Oh, because we're threatened, right? So fed up with it. Okay, we'll do a concussive smash against this guy. 65% chance. We got him. Okay, cool. We dazed him too. The only way out is through. Um. All right. Blade ward. We could do another aid. I feel like even with only me and Lazel, it would still be worth it. Bonus action. Shove. Sure. We failed on a 60% chance. Okay, Asterion. Um. Well, I think Asterion, since he's being pursued, actually has a chance here to do something interesting. We're going to move this. That doesn't seem to count as a bonus action. So we're going to move that again. And we're going to move it again. And we're going to move a little bit away and do a firebolt on it. Oh, they have one health left. Do, is there anything we can do to, to put the final... No, doesn't look like it. Are you kidding me? One damage. They're burning, so they're probably going to die on their turn. I'm just going to take a potion of healing. Time to strike. Lazel still has advantage against the big bed. Let's do it. Oh my god, she's dead. She's actually dead. Thank god. Um, Potion of healing. I'm gonna I'm gonna loot her right now. Okay, that's fine. Yes, the ogre is dead. Get out of here. I hate you. We missed on a seventy five percent chance. Tav. Tav, you have a 65% chance of killing this guy. Nice. It's it's actually the tides of being turned. The tides are being turned. Okay. Um We're gonna go hide. I'll do it my way. And Stealth or uh, sneak attack, 94% chance. Excellent. Lazil, um, you get to your your reward for putting up with this entire combat is you get to shove this guy off a ladder. And we're also gonna put the final sword into his chest. Advantage. Kill. Yes. Who's left? Oh, there's still someone out there. Okay, let's go back up. Pretty much everyone is dead. I really didn't expect anyone to survive. But that's fine. We did it. We did it. Dead was the pity. 
My blood has just started to boil. We, we did it! <laughs> oh. Bashaba's black bones! I'm too late! You! Where's Zevlor? Dead, he fell defending the grove. Oh god damn it, Zevlor! I find a clear path to the city. You keep everyone alive long enough to use it. That was the plan. No bloody heroics. But I guess heroics were necessary to survive all this. Who are you? Yo, I just saved your city. Where were you while we fought for our lives? The road to Baldur's Gate. Choked with monsters. Or it was. As I was scouting, I found signs of someone clearing them out. That was me. The savior Zevlor mentioned in his last message. Well met. I found a path to the city. And with those goblins dead, there'll never be a better time to get on it. But if what Zevlor said of you is true, you have unfinished business out here. I do. We'll have to part ways here. Should you be heading west, be careful. This new god has a tight grip on Moonrise Towers, and it was a dark place to begin with. We've another road to walk, and it's past time we were on it. Though I suppose some thanks is in order. Here is faint thanks compared to what you've done that, for us. That's such an but understatement. Have, my people will join your camp tonight. A farewell, if you'll have us. Great. Let's go now. Um, I don't have time to celebrate. I'm going to loot right. the bodies. Just let me know when you're ready. I, I'm going to loot the bodies and um, I'm going to do that between this and the next episode. Thank you so much for joining me. This has been a trial to say the least, but we made it. Everyone's alive. Um, and that's kind of a miracle, honestly. I, I don't know if maybe this combat was more difficult than, uh, than I expected or than it was my level or something. I'm not sure if I was supposed to take it on yet, but the fact that we got through it says something. Um, but anyway, uh, I'll see you guys next time. I want to hit the like button and all of that business. I'd appreciate it and, um, subscribe and yeah, take it easy. We'll, we'll do, we'll, we'll continue on in the next episode.